Okay, in section 2.5, we're going to learn the chain rule for differentiation. And what this does is it allows you to um, take the derivative of complex functions one piece at a time. Um, this is like if you have a composition of functions f of g of x, y equals f of g of x, then you can take the derivative to be um, the derivative of the outside function, plugging in the inside function, and then multiplying by the derivative of the inside function. Um, so there's a couple different ways to write this, and depending on the application, sometimes it's better to write it like this, and sometimes it's better to write it like that. Um, I think when you're first learning it, I prefer this. Um, but then if you're doing anything with um, implicit differentiation or um, uh, I guess some other applications, you might want to use this other formula, dy dx equals dy du over du dx. So we'll be using both. So I think you should learn both. Okay. So again, if y is a function, y equals f of u is a function of u, and u equals g of x is a differentiable function of x, then dy dx is dy du, so that's the derivative of y with respect to u, times du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x. And if you write that in terms of f of g of x, and that's saying that, that the derivative is f prime plugging in g of x, and then multiplied by g prime of x. Okay. So let's try to do an example, um, example 2.15. So here we have y equals x squared plus 7 raised to the fifth power. And we're asked to figure out what the outside and the inside functions are. And so I'm going to write the outside function in red. So I'll go back and delete this. And I'll say that the outside function is the raising to the fifth power. And the inside function is um, x squared plus 7. So you'd say that g of x in this case is x squared plus 7. And so f of x, the outside function, is x to the fifth. Okay, so this is the outside, this is the inside. Okay, and so what this says is, what the chain rule says is that the derivative dy dx of this whole function is going to be the derivative of the outside, so that's 5 times something to the fourth, and then you plug in the inside function, that's just x squared plus 7, that's g of x, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function, so that's x squared plus 7 prime. So let me write this all over again, so this is um, 5 times something raised to the fourth, that was the derivative of the outside function, and then you write down the inside function, leaving it alone. And then you take the derivative of the inside function, which is just 2x. Okay, So this is dy dx. And that would be um, acceptable for your final answer.